Well, when I started thinking about graduation plans, I just felt like there was a little more I wanted to get in my engineering toolbox before I started my job. So graduate, graduate school offered several uh, opportunities to sharpen some tools that I maybe just brushed lightly in as an undergrad student. And I figured when I got out and got, got that really attractive salary that I'd be able to uh, be, more, be a more productive engineer right away. I guess my, my primary motivation to continue on and, uh, and get a master's degree was just a desire to be, to be more specialized and really pursue uh, the interest I had in, in hydraulics and control systems. Doing the master's degree has allowed me to take the extra courses um, to round out my knowledge in those fields, as well as you know pursue a, a project that I get to make my own and um, allow you know be able to explore those areas that I'm interested in. Well, I really think the best time, if you're really interested and want to gain those skills, the, really, the best time to really begin the program is right after you finish their bachelor's degree. And that's what that was in my case. It was really the, the next step to gain that experience. And I really just felt like I wasn't done learning yet. I felt like I had really figured out what I wanted to focus my career on. And seeing a great program at Iowa State University really uh, just um, made it obvious to me that it was the next step and it was the right time to do it. Yeah, I think uh, with a master's degree, it's easy to look back or look at the immediate payback. Um, and I guess I would encourage people who are weighing whether a master's degree or not, but to look a little bit more long-term implications. And I think if you look at the implications it'll have for your career in the next 10 to 15 years, I think you'll see a great payoff. Uh, the, the major difference I've noticed uh, between a bachelor's and master's type program is the amount of time spent on on different parts of your study. While you still have to take classes, those are you know, fewer credits per semester and not as much time is spent on coursework and more time is spent on either developing your research or um, teaching assistant activities and it's just kind of a, a, difference, a different balance. I feel like the John Deere culture values uh, advanced degrees pretty highly. Uh, when I carry on just casual conversation with some of, their, some of the managers, uh, something common is none of them just have a bachelor's degree. Many of them, almost all of them have at least a master's degree and a lot of them have PhDs. Well, I think my undergraduate degree really gave me the fundamentals that I needed as far as uh, coursework and understanding theory and all the equations. But I think the master's degree was really a place where I could take that and begin to put it into practice. And going through the, the traditional uh, principles of research, going through all of those processes was somewhat new for me and something that I didn't gain in my undergraduate degree. And I feel like I'm able to approach challenges a little bit different uh, in my job in industry. I would just encourage students to look at the long term. And, uh, and I feel like I'm much more well prepared for my job uh, coming in today having a master's degree.